Hi Leia users, my name is Ansel and I'm going to show you um, Leia Mail today. So I'm on the Leia Mail page right now. Let me show you how I got there. So I started at the um, My Websites page and then I just went over here to Leia Mail in the bar, in the menu bar. So let's just say I don't have a Leia Mail account yet. How I'm going to get one is I'm going to go to create account right here and it's going to take me to this page. So I'm going to start by putting in an email. So I'm going to put in an email address right there. Um, and you'll see that by default it says whatever you put in here at mailsystems.org. Now I do not have any customized domain names in my Leia account. So for instance, I don't have anything that's .com or .org. Um, I don't have anything that I purchased. I just have .site, .live domains. But if I did have a customized domain, I could click this drop down menu right here and it would show up in this list. So let's say I had a customized domain that was um, emailtutorial.com. Right here, I would be able to change this to email address at emailtutorial.com. Um, something that you should keep in mind is that if you purchased your domain name through Leia, then um, your email address um, will automatically work. It's automatically linked. If you did not, then once you create an email address using your customized domain, you will receive um, instructions for how to um, get that set up correctly and how to um, link that to your custom domain that you purchased not through Leia. And something that you should keep in mind also is that um, that email with instructions will be sent to um, the email address that you have on file with your Leia account. So if you don't know what that is, um, if you don't know what your account email is, you can always go to the My Account and it'll show you right here what your email address is. So it's going to go to that email address. If you signed up through Facebook, then it's going to um, go to the email address that you have associated with your Facebook account. So look out for those instructions if you have a customized domain name that you bought through a registrar and not through Leia. Um, so then you're also going to be able to set a password. I'm in Safari, so it gives me an automatic password. Um, you'll put your first and last name here. And then down here, you're going to see um, a place to put all your credit card information. So you have your postal code. Um, the number on the back of your card right here, the expiration, the card number, cardholder name, all of that. So Leia um, Mail is $0.99 cents a month or it's $9.99 for the entire year. So if you would like to pay monthly to break up the payment or because you don't know if you want Leia Mail for an entire year, you can pay monthly, but you can also save a few dollars if you pay annually. Um, so after you fill out all your information, you click one of these and that will sign you up for your Leia email account. Um, I already have a sign in, so I'm going to go to email sign in. I'm going to put in my email and password. This is an old customer service email that we don't use anymore. These all get forwarded to our new customer service email. And so here I'm going to see the Leia mail um, interface. So I sent myself um, a email earlier so that I could kind of show you what they look like. So um, instead of having, I accidentally sent it twice. <laughs> That's why there's two of these. Um, so instead of having like one huge um, email that has a record of every single email that's been sent back and forth in like a thread sort of form, um, that gets like really hard to read. It gets really like big and long and it's just, it's not easy to differentiate when an email starts and when it ends. So the Leia Mail system uses this chat bubble sort of um, looking interface. So you'll see the email I sent from my Mail Systems account was right here. And then my personal email is right here. I say personal email, it's not my personal email, it's my work email. <laughs> but um, so you'll see that if I send another message, that's going to be in blue also. So it's really easy for me to tell um, 
who is, <laughs> there's the email. <laughs> um, it's really easy to tell who is um, sending what email. If I want to send a new email, real easy, I just press this button right here. I can send another one to myself. If I want to add an attachment, I can do that right here. Just press this button um, and I can put in a picture or a video or whatever I want. There's all sorts of options with your um, text. You can change the font type. You can change the size. You can hyperlink if you um, type something and then highlight it and put in a link. Now if someone clicks on that, it's going to take them to the Hey Leia website. There's numbered lists, bulleted lists. These are for indents. You can change your font color if you'd like to. Now it's green. You can also change the background. Orange. You can change the justification of your text. So let's say you wanted to center it. You could do that. We have a signature down here for the Leia team, so that shows up for us automatically. Um, if I decide that I want to start all over and I don't like any of this, I can press clear content right here. Um, if I decide that some of this is good and I want to keep it, I can save the draft if I'm not ready to send it. And I shouldn't forget to put a subject up here in the subject line. I can CC people, I can BCC people, CC myself, BC myself. And then I'm going to open up this again and show you what some more of these buttons do. So, so you've got your normal um, forward and reply buttons. There's a forward button. Here's your reply all button if it's an email with multiple people in it. Here's your regular reply button. Um, here's your delete button. Let's say I wanted to delete one of these emails. And then this exclamation point right here is how you make um, emails unread. So I can mark this email as unread. And then the little one comes up here. Down here, same thing. Oop. I can um, select an email that I would like to mark as unread. And then I can press it. So if I want to mark a lot of them as unread at the same time or as read, I can do that. I can also delete an email. Oops, <laughs> I have to have it checked. I can also delete an email if I'd like to. And then if I go up here to my inbox, I can switch to drafts and I can look at the drafts that I have. I'm going to go back to my inbox. Um, I can search for emails. So if I want to find something that I send to myself, I can see all the emails with um, Ansel in there. I can press this button to refresh the page and I can press this button here to open some settings. So I can change my email address, I can change the first and last name that I have associated with my email address, I can change my password, I can change a signature which is the um, image or text that appears at the bottom of every single email that you send unless you delete it. I can sign out and I can also deactivate my um, account if I no longer would like to pay for Leia Mail. And it tells me down here exactly when my Leia Mail account will renew. So that's something that's good to know if you don't know when you're going to be charged. You can look there and see. And that is Leia Mail. It's very simple. It's really easy to use. I really love this sort of like chat format that it does. Um, instead of having a whole lot of um, like thread looking um, text on an email, you're able to see it in sort of chat bubble format and I think that that's really clean and really easy to read and I know it helps me a lot when I'm working in customer service. Um, I can't think of anything else that I would need to show you in Leia Mail. If you're ever having some issues or if you can't figure something out, you can always go to hey, oops, leia.com slash contact. And you can contact us at customer service and we can help you figure it out. So um, I hope you won't need to. I hope that this email tutorial is super helpful. But if it's not, feel free to contact us. All right. Thanks, guys.